Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Seasons Supernatural Edition. I'm Landros, and I'm working with Bonehilda right now. Um, so I don't know what she can do. It said I was going to see if she could do anything with her. Let's see if we can awaken her. I don't know what the deal is. Is it really Bonehilda, or is it the ghost Bonehilda? It's the ghost Bonehilda. Alright, so tell you what, we're going to go ahead and let her dismiss herself. And then, I don't know if it's going to kill her. I don't know what the deal is, but... She's got all these needs, but I'm assuming... Oh, yeah, see, so what that does, it just takes her. She's out. So we don't have to worry about actually taking care of her or anything. So she's actually in there. If we need her, if we ever want to bring her out, we can. But as of right now, I really didn't need anybody else added to the household. So I'm going to let her just stay in there. Okay, for some reason, I froze. All right, there you go. And I believe that is... Is that Lucas or is that... Yeah, that's Lucas. He's getting in the wrong shower, but that's all right. If you're going to get in the shower, get in the shower. All right, Samantha was downstairs playing with magic, which is good. She needs to actually... Is that her magic meter? I hope so, because she looks like she's getting closer to um, leveling up. Keep going. Just keep going. And it's only 5.30 in the afternoon, so you go ahead and keep doing this, because I want you to level up. Taylor, um, <laughs> you want to go to a party? Uh, wasn't the last one enough for you? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe not. You want to go prepare autumn salad? Well, we can do that. That's an easy one. So you can do that at any time, pretty much. So go over here and prepare autumn salad. What's that Leah doing? She's in the hot tub. Of course she is. Or she's going to be. Um, go ahead and get in that hot tub. But you're hungry. That's all right. You know what? I ought to let you go eat. And then you can get in the hot tub. So go ahead. Go up here and... Well, actually, you can wait till Wait till uh, um, Taylor gets it done. Then, Lucas, when you come down here, what are you going to do? talk about your feelings. No, you're going to go ahead and go over here. You want a skinny dip too, but I don't think you can. How come she can and you can't? That is too strange. Or maybe it's because um, Arthur just got home. Uh, Arthur, where you at? Oh, look at Arthur. Arthur, you blew yourself up. Poor guy. Go ahead. Take care of yourself. Uh, wait, we already had some. That was by Taylor. So how many times are you going to make it? All right, Taylor, why don't you call everybody to eat? That way everybody will get something to eat. You're not really hungry. She's not really hungry. She can cancel out of it. She doesn't need it. But these guys are hungry. Well, he doesn't need it. So that was kind of silly. But she does, and I think he probably does. Yeah, he's okay. All right, you ought to be, you ought to be doing your aura or something. Uh, aura of body and mind. Go ahead and do that. And then, Ilea, when you get done... You need to use the bathroom. I thought that was my phone. I don't even have a ring like that. I just thought it was me. Uh, what do we got to replace it? Can't you... You're supposed to be able to fix it once you get into your fairy form, right? Uh, let's see. Eh, whatever. Um, hmm. No. Maybe we should just replace it. We got plenty of money. That way we don't have to clean it. All right, so go ahead and replace that. And now you can actually go over here and you can... Um, does Taylor want to go out with Albert? Albert. All right, Taylor, go out with Albert. I don't know what the deal is. We're going to go out with him. I've never had that happen in my game, but might as well. Let's see who Albert is. I'm just curious. That's why I don't really want him getting together with Albert, but I was just curious if that would actually happen. All right, we got stuff out here. Um, oh, we've got flowers out here we can pick. And, of course, let's see. The cow plant's just doing fine after he has killed somebody in our house. Uh, looks like he's going out to eat. I don't know where he's going to go. Out. Oh, Elbert wants because of the car. That's what it is. I have no idea who Elbert is, but we're just going to take a look. I just thought it was funny. Oh, I forgot I did put this place in here, didn't I? All right, well, let's wait. I want to see who Elbert is. Nobody. Okay, go over here, play your social games, do whatever you got to do, and we'll wait and find out who Albert acts. Oh, there's Albert. Um, let me take a look at Albert. Okay, that's too funny. All right, so I didn't know that this would that it would actually do that, but it does. So you guys do whatever you want to do on your date. I'm gonna go back over to the house. Um, Ilya, you're done with everything. But you need to go over here with Lucas. He's in the hot tub. So why don't you go ahead and get in the hot tub real quick? That is Lucas, right? I can't tell. Yeah, it's, it's Lucas. Lucas, wait on your wife. She's coming. 
You guys are not having a baby, but you're going to woohoo in the hot tub. You could have asked, so they asked her to cuddle. That would have been easier, because otherwise she might end up leaving, which I hope you don't, but if you do, you do. I have the hardest time sometimes with these people in the hot tubs. All right, go ahead and go ahead and cuddle. She's thinking of herself. Hi, Leah. You, you crack me up. Um, Felicity wants to know if Taylor would like to go on a date. <laughs> yeah, he does. You know, Taylor, you're just going to play the field, aren't you? You're going to play the whole town. All right, and I hear the music. I need to switch that up. All right, you guys go ahead, and you can make out. And then you guys should be able to woohoo. Who's got the music on? It's this one right here, isn't it? Come on, come on. I want to turn it off so I don't get the copyright thing. There we go. Goodness. All right, now we're back with the woohooing. And Samantha, I don't know what you're working on, but you really don't need to do that. You could have actually taken care of your needs without, without actually cooking. All right, let's see. Um, yeah, that's other people in the town. We got a gift. Um, it says, please open this on the Supernatural LP. I think you and, um, I, uh, I think that means thank you, and please tell me what you got. Well, that's pretty cool. We're right here on the LP, and that's exactly what we need to do. So this is from DJM227. Perfect timing. You just sent it uh, zero minutes ago. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to go ahead and accept this, see what we got. We got the Wugglesworth Snuggles Bear. All right, so let's see if we can send something back. Yes, we can. Um, let's see what we got. Thanks for the gift. The Knight family, so you know it was supernatural, got the teddy bear. All right, thanks again. Uh, nah, okay. Thanks. Oh, I didn't even spell it right. I can't send it if I didn't spell it right. Thanks again. All right, there we go. And yes, I want to send this gift. It's very good. Okay, they're woohooing. They're doing what they got to do. Oh, okay. So I didn't. I thought you were doing something else. Um, yeah, all your needs are fine. You go ahead and just do what you got to do. And I bet you drank this, didn't you? Mm, I bet you did. What? You gave something to an online friend? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello. We did do that. I guess that would make a difference. Um, can you magically upgrade that to Unbreakable? Sure. Go ahead and do that. This will help level up that skill, and it should or level up your next. Oh wait, her magic's almost out. So probably not. We're probably going to run out of magic before she can upgrade or up, uh, get up a level. All right. So yeah, we got some points. Taylor, what are you doing? All right. Let's go look at Felicity because now you've had two dates in one night. You guys are over here. You know what? I need to change this out because I have a different version of this um, of this ice lounge, but they don't ever go in. I mean, you can tell them to go in, but let's see if he'll go in. Then he can bring her. Maybe. Go ahead. All right. He likes Felicity. You're not leaving her. You're just going over there so you can invite her over. Call her over. That way she'll come in. Now, unfortunately, yeah, I have a better one that um, oh, I, I say better. I have one that actually has more to it, but you can buy a round of drinks. And then maybe you guys can have fun over here. Um, upstairs, I don't think this is the one I did originally when I first started the game or started the LP. So yeah. I think there's a, um, there's nothing up here. Yeah, I need to go back and put my other one in. I'll do that when I actually close out the game tonight, hopefully if I remember. But, you know, knowing me, I'll forget. Um, where did Felicity go? Did she go pee? She left. Oh, no, she didn't. She's over there. She's getting her, um, we're buying you a drink. You crazy alert, crazy girl. It's all right. She doesn't know what she's doing. She's got some arms on her, though. See that muscle definition? There you go. Now you go ahead and um, oh, it's a skill a skill gain drink. Let's drink it. Can you offer it to somebody? No, I don't think you can. Well, you're gonna drink two of them. You paid for them, so go ahead and drink. I don't know what you're gonna get. Let's see what you're gonna get. Okay, Lucas didn't make it to the party. That's all right. He's having fun at home. Um, it may be that you just drink it and then you just do something and you gain a skill or something. I don't know. All right, so that works for me. What are you doing here? Drinking your skill gain. Let's see. Tell you what. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have you go ahead and... Where's the house? 
Oh, wait, you're going to go talk to her? Where is she at? Oh, you're going to get... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. All right, I didn't instigate this at all. Who did you kiss? I missed everything. Gosh, why am I missing it? All right, well, let's look over here and see who you kissed. Okay, it was Felicity. So... You weren't too you weren't too excited about Albert either, so that's fine. Um, but Felicity, she's kind of cute. I can't really tell if the camera would stop moving. Okay. Oh well, we tried to give you a compliment. Oh, and now you want to play with? Oh, see, he's a dog. He doesn't care. You know, what was that? Okay, he's being flirted with. Okay, nah, that's things I don't really care about. Okay, you guys going home? I think it's time to go. Yeah, go ahead and go on home. I'm going to go ahead and send, or go back over. Let's see, Arthur's asleep. Oh, yeah, it's winter time, so now we're going to get all the snow and everything, so too bad, guys. No more fun days outside. Well, we can still have fun days outside, but why is she not in her bed? It's Because oh, I'm not actually looking at her. She's in the fairy house. Get up here and go to sleep. I don't like you sleeping out there. She's asleep. Uh, she's in her bed. Good deal. And he should be in his bed. So I know that it's actually something. They don't actually have to go to bed this early. But I'm sending them to bed anyway. Alright, and of course the cow plant. Hopefully you will not die in the cold weather. I don't think anything affects you. I think it's just food. That's all that bothers you. And the pea shooter, he doesn't do anything at all. Alright, so let me go ahead and make sure everybody's in bed. The only one I'm waiting on is Taylor. And he should be getting there pretty quick. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and cut out of here. I'll be back in just a second when they're up and ready to get going for the day. And we got to figure out something for these guys to do on the first day of winter. Be back in just a second. Okay, guys, um, I was going to go in and edit town and put in the new ice lounge. And as soon as I did this, I got, you cannot enter edit town when a sim in your household is dying. So apparently somebody's about to die, and I don't know who or why, but we're about to find out. I don't even want to click the button because I don't want to know who it is, but... Let's figure out who it is. Who's dying? Maybe it's nobody. Let's see, is it her? No, she's fine. Lucas is not you. No, he's fine. She's okay. Maybe it's Bone Hilda. Maybe that's what it is. Uh, well, she's not dying. She's already dead. So I don't get it. Or maybe it's the cow plant. Maybe the cow plant is dying. Let's go over here and just double check. Maybe it was the weather that can affect him. I don't know. Is he dying? Does he look dead? It looks cold. Well, I don't know. I'm going to wait and see if somebody dies or not. I kind of was thinking, well, maybe it's just Bone Hilda. If that's the case, then we need to go ahead and awaken her up. Let's get her up. She has nowhere to actually sleep. Oh, wait. Somebody's got to be awake to do that. I don't know where she would sleep if we had her. Maybe it's time to just go ahead and get rid of her, but then I'd have to move her out or kick her out of the household because I can't go into edit town, which is not going to be good if I can't do that. I'll try one more time, but I just don't think that I can. So... Yeah, so I'm assuming that it's her. Now, who's got the most energy? Um, she does. You're getting up anyway, so you go ahead and get up, and I want you to awaken her. And then we'll see if we can go into edit mode. And if that's the case, then I'm going to have to move her out, because I can't keep her. Come on. Let's see what happens. Oh, probably she is dying, because <laughs> we haven't been feeding her. See, look at that. Now let's see if we can go in there. Yeah, okay, all right, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, well, wait a minute, where are you at? Okay, so anyway, what is she going to go do? She's going to go watch TV? No, you're not going to watch TV. If you're going to do anything, you're going to actually work on your magic. So, turn this stupid... I'm going to get rid of this thing. I promise I'm going to get rid of it, because it's driving me nuts. <laughs> you're just too dramatic. Um, you're going to conjure an apple? Well, does Bonehill to do anything besides just be another person we have to take care of? Because if that's the case, I really don't want another person to take care of. Go ahead and practice your magic. Let's see if we can get you leveled up. And I know I can check and see if you actually are at level 10 or not. But no, if, if I'm going to have to take care of another one... Well, her mood, everything was fine. Does it change at all? It looks like it's static. doesn't look like it moves at all, but um, everybody else is moving. If that's the case, then I'll keep her, but, you know... She wanted to learn something. Let's see, she wants to join the professional sports career. Um... Yeah, you got to learn how to do athletics, and if you're going to do that, you want to take a class, and she wants to upgrade something. What can you do here? Can you upgrade this? 
Yeah. Go ahead and do... Yeah, we needed to change that from auto light anyway. All right, so get over there and do this. And I'll just watch her. I want to see if her needs change at all. I don't know if they will. I've never played with Bone Hilda as a ghost, so that's why I didn't really want to get rid of her because <laughs> it's unique. But, all right, you need to actually cast charm on yourself for... Let's cast one for hunger. Let's cast one for your bladder. There's a bladder. And then you need to go ahead and cast one for your hygiene. Okay, and that ought to take precedence over these. Then you can play with magic. I want you just to level up. I really want you to get up to the top. The witch is the hardest one. That's why I like starting with them as a team. Um, that way you can actually get some of the early years and not waste all your time doing this. Because it takes forever to get them up to level 10. I mean, I guess if you have two witches and they can sit there and spell cast all day, then that'd be one thing. But we can't really do that. We don't have. Well, we, we could. We just don't have two of them. And then she actually, once we get her leveled up, let me just check her skill because I know I can do that. But and this is such a temptation, which I shouldn't be doing, but I'm doing it anyway. Let's see, I think it's advanced. What's her skill level? I want to see what her skill level is in magic, just to know how much more I've got to go. I think it's under spell casting. I believe that's what we saw. So she's at a level eight. Man, it's gonna take forever. All right, well you just keep going, keep going. So this will actually be the last one, and I don't know what they get. At this. I think they can bring back the dead when they reach level ten, um, but I've never seen her do that. Oh, she's out of magic, so I got to make sure she gets something. Tell you what, why don't we go ahead and take you out? I'm gonna go ahead and go down in this thing. We're gonna travel. So, Samantha, I'm working with you for a little while. I know you've been pretty bad here lately. You want to become best friends with Alfred? I don't know who Alfred is, but you know what? Why not? You want to meet somebody new? We need to work on these things. I have no relationships for you guys, and it's not like you're going to live forever. I mean, Ilea and Lucas. Well, Lucas will live forever. ilea has got a lot of time, I think. She's got like 200-some-odd days. No, she's got 96 days. Okay, that's not as much as I thought. You, on the other hand, you only got four more days until you become a full adult. Ah, oh, that's not good. Um, we want to go to... Where's that? No, 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 no. All right, and we haven't gone to, like, La Chauve Beach and all these places. we kind got to start going around and doing these things. All right, we're going to go over here. I'm going to Alistair's, but I'm not really going to Alistair's. It's just the closest I can get. So we'll follow you, get you over here. And what I really want you to do is go get on the broom. And that way you can actually get your powers back up a little bit quicker. So let's see. Let's get you over here. There's no festival today, which is fine. I don't really need to go to the festival. Let's go for a joy ride. Let's go ahead and do a stunt ride. And then you can do a stunt ride for tips. And then do another joy ride. Whatever it takes to get your skill level or your witchcraft powers back up. It should take just a few of these and then you're done. All right, so the kids can come over here and play on these things, which I didn't know they had them. But all right, Bone Hilda, let me look at your needs again. Yeah, you're fine. So there's really nothing. It's not like you're ever going to... You're never going to actually get tired. <laughs> so as long as that's the case, then that's fine. All right, Samantha, let's take a look. Um, oh, yeah, you're fine. You don't have to do this all day. I thought you were going to have to do it for a while, but no, you don't. So when you do this, you're going to actually head back over to... Let me just take you somewhere different. I know it's early in the morning. Let's go ahead and pause real quick. Places we have not gone. Um... There are a lot of places we haven't gone. Anyway, we're going to go over to one of these beaches over here. And I know it's not the best of weather to go. This is La Chauve Beach, and this is Moonlight Point. I don't think I've ever been here in any of my games. So we're going to go over here. That way I can actually see it. And it's not really a good time to see it, but we're going to go over anyway, just because we can. So go ahead. Are you in your... Yeah, you're in your clothes, so you're fine. You're not going to freeze to death on us. But you can go over here and maybe you can, I don't know if you can summon. I don't think you can remember those spells. You've got to have the spellcaster there in order to do it. So that's fine. And then, of course, we ought to be working. I'm going to work on her. Uh, um, Taylor's fine because he's already leveled up. He's gotten to the max he can get to. So he's actually done basically what he's going to do. You've seen pretty much everything the werewolf can, um, can offer except for changing other werewolves. Or other sims in town. Okay, why are we lagging so bad? Because this is there's nothing running. I don't get that. All right, hang on a minute. There we go. For some reason, it was just horrible. I hadn't done that in 
well, it's done it for a while, but... Alright, yeah, I have been here, but there's really nothing. It's just a beach. I mean, yeah, it'd be fine to go in there and do this, but really there's nothing. She can go over here and she can play. Go grab a prize. Grab two. <laughs> While you're at it. Um, but yeah, you got this little beach area that we could come over to in the summertime, which we'll maybe try to do it, but I don't know. Yeah, I think it's weird. I think that all the supernaturals should have a lot longer life. I mean, it shouldn't be like you know, 30 some odd days. This should be much longer um, than the standard. I mean, we could always change that. I could have them learn the Young Again potion or something like that. But, oh, she's got a lot of points. She's got a lot of points. How much? Taylor's got tons. We need to start using these points. Yeah, we really do. Um, speaking of which, I'll tell you what, why don't we go ahead. Let's get you something. Um, for Supernatural, let's see what came up. None of these. Well, that came with seasons. Um, Simunity, that's with, that's with seasons as well. The flying vacuum, that would be hers. She would get a, um, a vacuum cleaner to, to actually fly around in. It's cute. It is, but it's, you know, her, her car that she has now is much better. These came with seasons. I mean, I could go get it. If you guys really want me to get it for I can do that. Um, the rest of these... Mm, all weather champion seasons. So far, I don't see any of the supernatural ones. Okay. Um, I like attractive. It's one of my favorites to get. Let's see. Everything else here was just other. Um, no, that one's been there a while. Okay, long distance friend. I like that one too. Magic hands. That's what she really needs. That way, she can actually do this. Okay, your spells will never fail. Guess what? You just got one. Okay, and then what can you do here? We need to go ahead and play with magic because I want to see you do it without the wand. There you go. And they're never going to fail, so that's good. Did we get a prize? Because it said grab one. Oh, Arthur's in a bad mood. Alright, well, that's alright. Okay, Bone Hilda, very good. You did that. I have no idea what you're doing now, but I'm just going to check your needs and make sure you're not... No, you're fine. There's nothing for you to do. I just want her to level up and get to level 9. That would make me so much happier if she could do that. Alright, go ahead and do it. It shouldn't take much. She doesn't have anything to worry about for herself. And we need to go over to... Um, we need to go to the fairy tale or the fortune teller's wagon because even though I think it's a waste and all it's just blowing your money, um, this family's got plenty of money. They can afford to blow it. And somebody ought to enter that as a career. We could actually have them start getting jobs if we wanted to, but then what I need to do is get rid of all of their money and let them go back to struggling, which I thought about it. I thought about actually um, creating something that would actually cause all their money to go away, which is really easy to do. I don't want to do a cheat. I want to actually do it kind of like I did before with just giving away gifts. And then that way they can actually just get back to, we're struggling. We got to go, got to go to work and got to earn their way. That's why I never get the, um, the no bills ever lifetime reward because it takes away the, the, uh, challenge of the game. All right. How long is it going to take you to do this? I mean, that's not much. And you've had that for a long time. Are you broken? No, it just takes a while. Um, Mara wants to take Arthur on a date. Well, go, Arthur, go. I'm not going to stop you. If somebody's wanting to take you out, go with it. All right, we're going to have to keep doing this for a while. Because apparently, this little magic... It may be broken. I don't know. Probably not. I'm just I'm just saying. But anyway, I'm going to speed her up because I think this is going to... I don't know if it's going to take forever. Well, now it's going to freeze on me. So probably not a good idea to speed up. Let's see what we get. Jules and Belinda Crumplebottom are... Oh, okay. They're getting together. And then, let's see, Navita and Param are having a baby. Uh, that's what I like about story progression. Things are happening in the town that you just you have no control over. I thought about actually splitting the family up. I thought about moving one out and following just one, or just keeping them all together, changing the ages as far as doing something that we can... Um, discover a potion and maybe get them back to young again. I don't know. I really don't have a clue what to do as far as keeping them all together. Um, it's fine. I don't mind keeping them together. I like having one of each, but right now I just don't know what to do with them as far as um, 
I don't want to have a huge household. I really don't. And I feel like we already have more than enough. Arthur was kind of an extra one we really didn't need. But that's okay. And I know we're going to be stuck with Lucas forever because he's immortal. But I keep going back and forth. I get different ideas at different times. And I think, well, okay, I'll do this. And I don't know. I'm just still waiting to decide what I really want to do. But until I get them all leveled up to the top, which um, Ilea's done, Lucas is done, Taylor's done, Samantha's the only one i got to work on. It. Man, it takes forever. But apparently once she gets to the top, she can do a lot. Come on. Finish this up. This should get you. Come on. All right, this is, this is ridiculous. And when you look at it, I mean, it has not moved. I mean, I'm sure it has, because it's got the little plus sign and everything. But it just looks like it hasn't done a thing. Oh, okay, you got stood up by Mara. All right, but he's making a snowman outside, so that's fine. And I would like to go over and see them, but I want to see her actually get this leveled up to make sure it's not, definitely not broken. Because if it is broken, then that's a problem. But I don't think it is. I just think it just takes an awful lot of time. A lot of patience, which sometimes I do not have. Really? Still? Okay, come on. There we go. Finally. All right, man. It took forever. Let's see what we got. Samantha is no sorcerer's apprentice. She has mastered the art of tidying a house with a swish of the wand. Samantha has learned how to magically clean a lot with the restoration ritual. All right, will you stop, 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 stop. Go home. I want you to restore our house. All right, so let's go back. We're going to beat her at home because we're going over with uh, Lucas. I have no idea what he's doing. I don't even think he knows what he's doing. He's just standing there looking crazy. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, he's going to listen. What's she going to say to him? Talk about flowers. You know what you ought to do? You ought to actually take care of these. Go ahead and tend to your garden. And when you get home, Samantha, you're going to go over here and let's see. I gotta wait till you get here, I think. But then once you get here, I think you can just restore the whole place just by touching the ground. I don't know. Cast a spell. See what you got. Restoration ritual. Let's go ahead and do it. See what you got. And if this is. I think this takes care. Um, of course, you know, we don't have anything messy in the house, so it's really not that bad. But. Let's see what, let's see what it does. Does that take care of everything? I think it does. It probably takes care. Oh my gosh. If that's. <sighs> Alright. So I guess it took care of all the uh, the bathroom needs and everything. Yeah. That's definitely why it's nice to have a witch. Because she can do. Once you get up to this point. You can do everything. So I don't want to get rid of her. So she's got to learn how to. we got to figure out how to keep her alive. So Arthur. Since your little date didn't actually show. Actually I think it was Taylor that was working on this. Taylor's making the igloo. Go ahead and discover a potion. And I'm going to go back and see where you were. Okay, you're actually playing. Who's that? Is that Samantha? All right, that's good. You guys made an igloo right in the right spot. Well, Samantha, why don't you go ahead? Can you do anything to that igloo? Probably not. Um, where's Arthur at? Poor guy. What's he doing? He's going to listen to Samantha say what? What's she going to do? Talk about the snow. All right, that's fine. Lucas, come on out here, and you guys can build. Um, make a snowman with your wife. Oh, you guys have been flirty. You guys are you guys are never bad to each other. That's good. Um, why don't you guys go out here and you can have a snowball fight with Samantha. Cuz we never play around with the never play around in the snow. And we should. And they got plenty of room out here to do it, hopefully. I don't know if they're going to actually come out here and do it. Okay, looks like Ilea is coming. Samantha, where are you guys going to go and do this at? Probably can't because they took up your spot. I bet you it's going to cancel out because they don't have any room. All right, of course, this is all the things that are going on. You can see different things happening. Oh, there's stalkers. That is too funny. Bonehilda, what are you doing? Just actually sitting there looking, looking at nothing. Okay, good. Maybe they are going to just... You know, you guys, since you like to woohoo all the time anyway, don't bathe. Go over here and woohoo in this thing. Go ahead and relax. Hi, Leah. No, you're not going to relax. You're going to come over here and you're going to actually help her. That was the whole point. Help build the snowman. Okay, and poor Taylor's up there. He's actually just learning a potion. Trying to keep him and his sister alive forever. I love that potion. I really do. 
Okay. And you guys could actually all do... Well, I wish it was something that five could do. It's unfortunately that it's only four. But they need to have an act, some kind of activity that all the families can do when they're big and they can all keep together. All right, I used my own life and blah, 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 blah. Oh, she's writing. Okay, that's fine. I don't really care. Taylor is up to level three. Now, I should have him working on a um, on his multi-tab. But I'm not. Okay, oh, he's... All right, let me go take care of him because he's blown himself up again. All right, guys, come on over here. You're going to go play with the plant? No, you're not going to pet it. All right, go ahead and shower. Seriously? <laughs> Gosh. All right, go ahead and do that, and then when you get done, um, I'll let you try again. So I want you to discover at least one today. That would be the nice thing. Okay, you guys are finished? All right, Arthur, what are you going to go do? You can go to the bathroom, and Samantha, Chauncey wants to take you out on a date. Oh, well, you're going to go out on a date then. I don't know what you were planning to do. Oh, you're going to go answer the phone. Uh, but you're going on a date now. And then that was Ilea. I bet... Oh, no, she's going over there to do that. And they made a nice little traditional snowman. They actually put it facing the right direction. Samantha, where's he going to take you? I have no idea. Is he going to actually show up? Because they tend to actually stand you up. Maybe he'll take you to the Ice Palace, because I did switch it out. Or the Ice Lounge, whatever you call it. Is that where you're going? I don't know. I don't know where you're headed. I have no... Oh, you're going all the way out to the beach. Oh, so we went to the other one. Or no, that's the same one. So you came back to the same place. So if I would have just waited. If I would have just waited. Okay, and you've got bathrooms up there. No showers, I don't think. I don't see any. Is that Chauncey? No, that's got to, this is Chauncey. Chauncey's a werewolf? Alright, well. I want to try something on Chauncey. Alright, Chauncey, come on over here and chat with her because she's going to do something to you. Hopefully it's good. Um, Give him... I want you to cast... No, 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 no. It's a charm. I want you to do the sunlight charm on him because I've not seen that one yet. And since he's not a part of the family, I don't care if it's bad or good. I think it's good. It sounds like it would be good. At least I think it is. He's terrified. Alright, I don't know what that did, but it did something for him. <laughs> it was fine. Alright, don't go. No, no, no. You're... Oh, okay, you're not leaving. Where is Chauncey? You guys are on a date. You're supposed to be doing this together. Go over here and... Why don't you, go... Why don't you guys have a snowball fight with Chauncey? Okay, go have your snowball fight, and that way you can... I mean, that may be your mo romance. Oh, wait, that's your guy, and he's he's gotten pretty old. So, I don't think Chauncey's that young either. We haven't actually pushed that relationship at all. Is that Chauncey? Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, you should be able to have a fight here. Come on. Well, why don't you go ahead and then make a snowman, or build an igloo with him, or something. Can you make a snowman with Chauncey? Come on, you can do that at least. So yeah, I don't know what the, the sunlight thing does, but I think it's something good and it gives you a good moodlet or whatever. What does she want to do? Cast a restoration ritual? Yeah, you can do that. I think you can even do it here, can't you? Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, you can. She could do it here and it would probably make everything nice and back the way it normally would be. I think it would get rid of all the um, snow angels and the snowmen. Possibly. Maybe, maybe not. All right, you're on your date. I'm going to let you stay on your date. Taylor, oh, you didn't actually discover your potion, so I forgot to tell you to do it. Um, and you're about to actually turn into a werewolf again. You guys are smussling out there. All right, so Arthur and uh, Ilea are smussling. Taylor's about to actually change over. And what's Lucas doing? Lucas is working out. Well, Lucas, that's fine. You're going to actually do this all night long, aren't you? I think he's in the garage. Yeah, there he goes. And he should be actually doing this, but I'm not making him do it. All right, yeah, and you guys, too crazy. All right, there's still nothing over at the festival, so we can't go over there yet, and I didn't really want to go there anyway. But I love it. The radio's practically buried. All right, what about the cow plants? Cow plants still... Whoa, wait, okay, you you terrified your little brother. That's too funny, he's buried in snow. Poor guy. Arthur is not that bad. 
Um, Arthur can actually go over here and take a shower. He doesn't have to worry about anybody being in there, so because they take it in their swimsuit. And let's see, cow plant. The weather obviously does not affect you. What happened to Bone Hilda? <laughs> really? Uh, did she go back upstairs and go in her little room? I think she did. Or maybe she. I don't know. Let's take a look. Um. All right. I don't see her. I don't know what happened to her, but she's gone. Um, she's not on our, she's not controlled by us anymore. She may still be in the house, but I don't see her with us. All right, hold on. Where are you at? Let's lower this down. All right. I don't see Bone Hilda. I'm looking, I'm looking carefully. I'm going to try to find her, but she's not anywhere on the first floor. I don't think she's here. To be perfectly honest with you, I don't think she is. Taylor's in there. Well, the only thing, I guess she would be gone. I guess we could go up and dismiss her and see what happens and see if she comes back, which may be what we just need to do. All right, let's go ahead and dismiss her real quick. Go ahead, Arthur. You dismiss Bone Hilda. And let's see if she shows up. Well, she should. Um, I guess not. All right, now try to awaken her and see if she comes out. If that's the case, well, no, she's coming back out. So apparently she did not go too long. All right, so she's out for a while. I guess she doesn't stay out for very long. Um, but her needs never go down. So I guess if you need her, I don't want to have her join anything because she couldn't do that. She'd always be moving around. So I may end up getting rid of her. I don't know. It's sad. It's sad that that happened, but... I don't know. There's really no need to have her in there. Okay, Samantha, how's your date going? <laughs> You're over here playing with magic. I guess it's not going so hot because, well, yeah, you guys are still out. You're still having fun together. Go ahead and do your spell here. Do your restoration. Oh, you can't because your magic's out. Yeah, well, too bad. I mean, you can try it, but I don't think you can. Nope, you're going to listen to who? Who is this idiot? Elbert. <laughs> well, you didn't get the brother, so you're going after the sister. Aren't you good? Now the thing is, I like the fact that she does this. She's got the, um, she's got the charisma skill up, I believe. How much is up to? Yeah, level five. So, she always enter. She always starts off with a, um, a pretty good lead on her relationships. All right, Taylor, Lucas, you guys, what are you doing? You're showering. You're bathing. She's actually doing. Ah, there's just too much. I gotta actually get them. I gotta get them jobs or something. I need to actually get their money out of here. So that's probably gonna be the best thing to do. Is just find a way. Tell you what, let's just go ahead and start. You know, rather than say something, you might as well go ahead and do it. Okay, let's go ahead and lower this down real quick. Whoa, not that low. All right, and we're gonna pick a car. Pick a car. Pick the most expensive car in town because we can afford it. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to put that in Samantha's inventory. And Chauncey, today is your lucky day. You're getting a car. You're getting a big car. Go on over here and let's give this car away. Yeah, that brings us down to 15000 so that's good. Chauncey, I hope you want this gift. Wait a minute. How? I guess your date... Oh, that's Ilea. Did I give it to Ilea? Of course I did. <laughs> All right. Never said I wasn't an idiot. Go ahead. Ah, stop it. Chauncey, stop moving. Don't you want a $175,000 car for free? I guess not. All right, well, you know what? If all else fails, I can fix that. Why in the world would you have to do a greet when you guys are on a date? Go over here. Do your amusing greet. Make him stop. Give him this gift. I think your relationship is good enough to do this. You're just an acquaintance. <laughs> well, why don't you guys get a little friendly first? So go ahead and let's chat. Um, go ahead and get to know him. Let's see. Hmm. Ask him about his career, which I don't know what he has. I don't know what he does. Linda Rogers would like to know if no, Lucas is not one on a date. Um, let's see what else. Uh, go ahead and try to give him a gift. Give him this nice 
beautiful car. $175,000 that we worked hard for. Not really. We got that pretty easy. Alright. Yeah, Felicity's still working. That's fine. Um, Chauncey, come on. We want to actually give you this. Are you going home to go to bed? Oh, you better not be. I think he just left us. Well, Chauncey, guess what? You don't get a car if you're going to leave us. Oh, no, he's going to the bathroom. All right, we'll, we'll forgive you for that. Arthur, you're in a bad mood. All right, well. I swear I thought we had more than... Oh, no, we did. We had 191,000. All right, Samantha, go ahead. Before the old zombie comes out after you. All right, go ahead. Are you going to go over here and give him something? Be friendly to the guy. Chat with him. If he'll come out of the bathroom. Maybe you have to call him over. Mm, can you call him over? No, you can't call him over. Uh, let's see. Can you ask him to do anything? You're going to go swimming? Really? I had no idea you'd go swimming. Okay, come on, Chauncey. Get out of there so she can actually talk to you. I know, there's my alarm. Um, be funny to this guy. Make a silly face at him. If he would actually get out of there. Go to China, talk to three locals, and solve all the riddles. Um, maybe. I don't know. Alright, come on. Talk to this guy. He's actually getting out of there now. Of course, now there's a zombie. Well, I think he's out. You can give it to the zombie. I don't want to give it to the zombie. Chauncey, you are the hardest date. You really are. Come on over here. We're trying just to give you a gift, and that's not that hard to do. I mean, it is hard to do for you, but it shouldn't be this hard. Alright, well, you know, and you ought to like us. <laughs> you just threw away $175,000, buddy. I hope you are happy. Uh, Not that we won't give you a second chance. Oh, you didn't like that? You could give him the pestilence curse. You could, but I think that can backfire on you. But, you know what? Your magic hands are supposed to never fail. Oh, you don't have magic anymore. So, unfortunately, you can't do that. You got lucky, buddy. You really did. And she doesn't have essence of magic, does she? No, she doesn't. Alright. If he's going to do that... Oh, God, why don't you have magic now? Why in the world? Alright, that's fine. We were going to give you a car. We're not going to give it to you now. We really were. How much longer does she have to go? Oh, she's got 53 minutes. 53 minutes, buddy, and you are in trouble. I gotta look and see if I want to do the pestilence curse or not. But you know what? I think you might have earned it. Not really. I don't think anybody deserves it. But yeah, I mean, he was right. He doesn't know her well enough. So I guess you guys could actually be a little bit nicer. Alright. Let's see. If you're friendly, why don't you get to know? Let's see if that actually helps. Okay, come on now. Don't freeze on me. Let's at least get to be friends, and then we can actually we can get rid of this money. All right, let's see. Ask him about his career. Don't go. Don't leave. Come on, we don't want you to leave yet. Compliment his fur. Do the things that he will like. Okay, you're friends now, so you can actually do it now. Friendly. Give your gift. Chauncey, this is your last chance. If you want a free $175,000 car, then you better be—you better behave. You better take it this time. Yeah, shake up that car. There you go. All right, so that's it. That's all we needed. All right, I'm gonna send Samantha home. Chauncey, <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Anyway. Now we're back down to a point where our family's going to have to actually start thinking about either getting jobs or doing something for an income. And that's kind of where I was kind of wanting this to go anyway. So, all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the part here. I know I went a little bit longer than I should have, but I do apologize. So anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.